want to learn how to make a quilt? Fantastic. Welcome to Making It Fun, everybody. I am Rob Appel, your host, Michael Miller Fabrics. I am super excited you're here, and I'm going to try to do a bunch of these fun little quick videos. You're going to end up with this quilt over here on the wall, but we're going to break quilting down for the brand new quilter one step at a time. I'm so excited I can hardly catch my breath, but we've got to slow down and make this strategic but we're also gonna make these quick little videos. So today we're just gonna focus right now on cutting the fabric. I'm not a pre-washer, so that's at somebody else's video lesson. So pretend like your fabric's ready, whatever that means. Mine just came from a local quilt shop. I'm using Michael Miller Fabrics Cotton Couture because I absolutely love it. It's a great solid, but it's a high density fabric. When you're making quilts, you wanna use really good quality fabric because not only will it last longer visually and structurally, but it will be easier to sew with and easier to cut because it won't stretch. How do you know what is good fabric? Well, you can feel it, you can kind of tug on it. You don't want it to shift around too dang much. I prefer all cotton. That's a whole nother conversation. I'm already burning up time on the clock. But today we're just gonna slice up this fabric as if it came right from the quilt shop and it's right off of the bolt basically. So one of the first things I actually like to do is I like to run my iron over the top and just get any extra wrinkles out because I'm gonna use a rotary cutting and ruler system to get a really clean and straight edge. The number one key to good patchwork is good accurate cutting and then Later on in another video, we're going to talk about good, accurate stitching. So right now what I want to do, even though this looks to be a really clean edge, is I want to true it up with my rotary cutter. So the first thing I do is I go to the fold of my fabric over here. This is the selvage in. This is the fold. And I take my ruler. This ruler is going to be 24 inches long. I'm going to find a line that runs perpendicular. So I'm finding this line right down here along the fold. And now I'm going to be able to cut this perpendicular or perfectly squared 90 degree line here. And when I cut these long pieces of fabric, I like to hold my ruler further away from my body because longer rulers tend to travel as you're finishing the cut. Okay. Some folks like to fold their fabric many times and I will say up to about three folds is okay, but you do need to be aware every time you fold the fabric, it increases the layers and that can cause shifting as we cut. And it can also cause sometimes this little hourglass shape right at the fold. So if you wanted to fold this, you could do the same exact thing. You've now going ahead, you're still looking at this line down here to trim this edge up, but that becomes the square edge. I prefer to cut my fabrics in as long as strips, fewer layers as possible for the base cut, because I'm gonna make squares here in just a second. So I'm gonna trim, clean up this edge. This is the starting cut. So I like to go ahead and take off just a little bit here. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is either rotate or flip my fabric over. And I'm gonna make six inch squares, so I wanna start with six inch strips. So therefore, I'm gonna now come using my ruler, and fortunately this is a six and a half inch ruler, so I slide it over until I find what would be the half inch mark along this edge. I'm going to really get it nice and accurate by lining up this edge down here. Everything is nice and square. Now everything is nice and square. Hold that ruler up a little bit further. Slide on down and I should have a perfect six inch strip right there. Now, like I said, I wanna make six, six inch squares, so let's practice these cuts again. This is the selvage edge, so depending on what kind of mathematics you're after, you do wanna consider you have a fold down here. Math is for another teacher as well. I love math, but we're teaching cutting right now. So I'm gonna line up yet another mark. Let me just find a really good spot so you can see. Let's use this white line here. No, let's use the black line so you don't get confused with the white line on the mat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this 
perpendicular here, perpendicular here, and I'm gonna cut right now and I'm gonna take off the selvages. If you're brand new to fabric, the selvages have a little bit more thread count in them and they've got these little pinholes that don't really go away. And so it can also affect the sewing, the feeding, all of that kind of stuff. So we're not gonna use those. Flipping my strips over, doing it this way, I will get two squares. And so I'm going to make sure that I am six inches away from the cut I need. And that slice right there will yield me, look at that, two perfect six inch squares. And I will do that over and over and over again, stack them all up so that I'm ready for the next step, which will be sewing them together in the next video. We'll see you as soon as that one's ready. Thank you.